As the country looks for ways to deal with mass shootings at schools, some have responded by saying that more people should carry guns, including the teachers. Here's a statement from Donald Trump. The only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. That is what President Donald Trump told the National Rifle Association convention in April. More states are allowing teachers to carry guns. Mr. Donald Trump also said, who better to protect our children than our teachers who love them? Uh, there's a close look being taken at unintentional shootings by law enforcement officers, including at schools, which raises doubts about whether more guns would help keep students safe. Here to give us more conversation on this is Onyx News correspondent from Denver, Colorado, uh, uh, April Phelps. April, give me some feedback on this. You know, I, it is an awful situation that there are so many accidental shootings. There were 1,422 accidental police shootings in 258 different precincts around the world. You know, it's an unfortunate event that these things do happen. Sometimes the, these happen at actual um, uh, active shootings, and it's simply because there's so much adrenaline that is going through the police officers, the SWAT shooters. I mean, they are, they are just in um, rescue mode. And what happens is that there's just not enough training for the teachers. There's not enough training for the police officers. You know, I'm in, in total agreement with, with teachers having, a, having the ability to carry a weapon because you never know in any kind of situation. Now, just like teachers have to go regularly for training for the job that they do as far as being that teacher, they have to always keep themselves up to date with the things that they are teaching the children. I believe that if you're going to place guns in teachers' hands, and it be okay that they carry weapons inside the classroom, that they have to go to regular training as well. And not only just regular training, that they also go under um, analysis, mental analysis. So that way you, you're making sure that the stress level of the job, because we understand that, you know, children are children. April, let me, let, me share, children. let me share this here. Sorry to interrupt you. Let me share this. The Associated okay. Press, uh, through a report that they are doing, has found that accidental mm -hmm. shootings occur at law enforcement agencies, large and small, across the mm -hmm. United States every year. The examination of public records and media reports document an estimated 1,422 by officers at 258 agencies since 2012. 22 of those occurred at schools or college campuses, mm -hmm. um, and at least nine states have passed laws allowing employees to carry firearms at K-12 school grounds, according to the National School Birds Association. Um, what are our, you know, I, I hear what you're saying about um, them carrying guns in these environments. What do we risk by allowing that to happen? Your final you thoughts on I, that. In my opinion is we, we're not risking anything. Um, I, I understand about the accidental shooting and that's where the training, training, training comes in place because the more you train, the more you're going to be um, allotted the, the affordability to be able to make rash decisions in that high adrenaline state that you are in. And, and it's, it's all about protecting our children. That's what this is all April, about. April, I'm so sorry. And I hate to cut should... you off. We're out of time today. It's always a great conversation with you here. Thank you so much for the report.